Hello, and welcome to another healthy cooking video with Valleywide Health Systems. We've really missed doing these videos as the current pandemic hasn't left us with much time for these other projects. But today we're back and we're making a delicious, healthy, and gluten-free fruit pizza. This recipe comes to us from fitfoodiefinds.com and it's basically like a giant sugar cookie with a cream cheese and yogurt sauce and fresh fruit topping. Fruit pizza might seem like a strange idea, but it's a great dessert or snack idea that everyone is likely to love. A friend of mine makes this fruit pizza instead of cake for birthdays and celebrations, and it's a huge hit. People beg her to make it. This version is gluten-free and lower in fat. You can, of course, make this recipe with regular all-purpose flour instead of gluten-free flours, but we wanted to feature a recipe for our viewers with a gluten intolerance. We're going to start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to grease a 10 inch pan with coconut oil. Next, we're going to mix our wet ingredients in a large bowl and our dry ingredients in a separate bowl. This is so that we get a nice even dough mixture. In the wet bowl, we're gonna do one egg, vanilla extract, Honey, and softened coconut oil. And in the dry bowl, we've already got two cups of blanched almond flour, and to that we're going to go ahead and add some coconut flour. baking soda, and some salt. When these ingredients are ready, we're going to slowly add the dry ingredients to the wet, mixing slowly with our hands. Some people don't really like to mix by hand, but this dough is going to get quite thick as we go, and it's easier to mix with your hands. As long as they're clean, this isn't a big deal. And the only reason I'm gonna wear a glove is to protect my manicure. And when the dough is thoroughly mixed, we're gonna form it into a ball. Place the dough ball into your greased pan and evenly flatten the dough to the bottom of the pan. Once that's done, take a greased spatula, or in my case a butter knife, and carefully separate the dough from the edge of the pan to make removal easier after baking. And this goes into the oven for 14 to 17 minutes at 350 degrees. While the crust is baking, we're going to mix three ounces of cream cheese, half a cup of Don Fat Greek yogurt, Honey, and the zest of half a lemon into a bowl. This is going to be much easier if you do this in a blender, but all I've got is this fork, so we're just going to mash it, and we're looking for a thick, creamy consistency when this is all done mixing. Let the crust cool. And then we're going to spread it with an even layer of the filling. Now that we've got our filling done, we're going to go ahead and decorate with the berries. I went ahead and thinly sliced the strawberries and cut the blackberries in half 
just to make the pizza a little bit easier to bite into, but you can do this however you want. I'm going to go ahead and do these in layers um, with a probably a layer of strawberries around the edge and then a layer of blackberries and then the blueberries in the middle. But again, you can do this however you want. And finally, we're going to garnish with some lemon zest. Now we're gonna let this set in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes because this makes the pizza easier to slice and eat. But if you can't wait that long, it's okay, we won't tell. You can make this fruit pizza with just about any kind of fruit you'd like. I've seen them with kiwi and strawberry, banana, mango, peaches, and even apples. I've also seen this pizza garnished with chopped mint or basil chocolate sauce or ripped cream, but of course share, sugary or dairy toppings are going to add fat, sugar, and calories to the recipe, so add those things in moderation. 